Hi, I'm Miles. And I'm Jay. And we're here with your announcements. Would you like to be a partner for Unified Sports? Unified Sports is a program that brings students with and without intellectual disabilities together through education, sports, and youth leadership. This season, we will be playing bocce ball and practicing to compete against other Unified teams at state competition. Practice will be on Thursdays from 3 to 15, 4.15. To get an application, please see your grade level office. Contact Ms. Miss, Miss Miller with any questions. There will be a connectors meeting from 3 to 4 p.m. in the gathering place. Wear the same clothes as a friend on Twin Day, Friday, March 19th. The book fair is coming next week. It will be open from Tuesday, March 13th through Wednesday, March 21st. All students will visit the book fair with their language and literature classes. Students may also stop dur in during be breakfast club before school and after school until 3.15. <laughs> What's all of the commotion, Ignatius? It's time for my nap. Mr. Finnegan, it's time to pause for the Scholastic Book Fair. Kids get to choose the books they want to read. Huh. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely, because reading expands your imagination in so many fun ways. Reading increases your brain power and makes you smarter because it introduces you to new places, people, characters, and stories. Wow. Books are amazing. Reading is fun. Everyone must come to the book fair. <laughs> Kids, tell everyone you know, the Scholastic Book Fair is here! Pause for the Scholastic Book Fair! Our OHS year presents pre-season fear conditioning. It starts Tuesday, March 13th, and is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please email rohsprogramfear at gmail.com. Makers Club is today after school in the Learning Commons. Spring sports registration is March 13th and 14th. See Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wines Weiss if you have any questions. Hey, Roms, thank you for your awesome participation in the WIT Pediatric Cancer Fundraiser. You rocked out the goal, and we raised $7,740.21. Those LEAP classes that raised $150 or more, please have your teacher keep out an eye for donuts. Congratulations to Mr. Walker's LEAP, Frau Kendall's LEAP, and Mr. Hamraki's LEAP for the winning pizza parties. Student who, students who won WIT Pediatric T-shirts are listed on the screen. These students will need to see Ms. Taylor as soon as possible. Shirt sizes are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Student Council would like to thank you for your, for your help in honoring Tessa Prothero. It is, a great, it is great to see her memory shine on. Attention Student Council members. Tomorrow, Friday, March 9th, is a general membership meeting. All should be planned on attending. Meeting begins at 7.15 a.m. The DIY club is canceled for today. Now please stand for your pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to Cooper with your weather. Hi, what's up Roms? I'm Cooper and I'm here with your weather. Today there will be a high of 35 and a low of 26 with snow showers through the day. Now for your joke. What object is king of the classroom? The ruler. Now to Katie and Mary with your sports. I'm Mary and I'm Katie and, and we're, we're here, here with your sports. 
The seventh grade volleyball team rebounded yesterday after their loss on Monday to defeat Clarenceville yesterday. They won all three games, 21 to 17, 21 to 11, and 21 to 18. Monday, they traveled to Clarenceville for the next rematch. The eighth grade volleyball team beat Clarenceville on Wednesday, three games to zero. The scores of the games were 21 to five, 21 to 11, and 21 to seven. Lindsay Metzger had an incredible day of serving with 15 serving points. Kaylin Pitlanish and Emily Childers followed this up with seven points each, and Mary Reichel with six points. Reagan Blackwell had many outstanding spikes during the match. Our next game is on Monday at Clarenceville. Yesterday, the Detroit Pistons lost to the Toronto Raptors 121 to 119. Today at 7.30 p.m., the Detroit Red Wings play the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm Mary. And I'm Katie. And, and that's, that's news to me. me. When hippos are upset, their sweat turns red. What? <laughs> you know, the average person spends six months of their life waiting for a red light to turn green. That's, That's so cool! You can't snore and dream at the same time, because it's impossible. Whoa! Thomas Jefferson is on the $2 bill. I know for a fact that that's true. 